Hey guys, this is Infocate. I decided to start a new segment. It's called Plugin Sunday. And as the name probably suggests, every Sunday I'll be reviewing a new uh, Fruity Loops plugin. Basically, um, I will start with the default um, plugins that come with Fruity Loops 9. And later on, we're gonna review some additional plugins and Actually, every week uh, after I review all the default ones, we'll be reviewing a new plugin, and I'll point you to the place you can buy it, or, you know, if you don't want to buy it, you can just find it somewhere, I don't know. I have already set up the project, uh, I have just, it's just one sample, and this week we're, we're gonna review uh, the, fruity, the Fruity Delay Bank. Now this is a new plugin, I think it was added in Fruity Loops 8, maybe. There are also the delay, Fruity, Fruity Delay 1 and 2, but I advise you to use this one. So anyway, let's get started. The Fruity Delay Bank is uh, pretty hectic when you first see it. It has a lot of knobs, a lot of confusing things, but you'll get used to it. And the different sections are more or less stamped out. Let's start with the general knobs up here. First we have dry and wet. Let's see what they do. So let's play. You see it delays. Actually let's just make it two. More understandable. Okay, let's cut the dry. As you see only the delayed sound is heard. If we cut the wet, only the, only the original sound is heard. So, dry actually is the sound of the sample alone, and wet is the effect. In most effects, these two knobs will be identical, dry and wet. Wet is the effect sound, and dry is the pure sample sound. Ok, let's stop. Here on the left we have on. Uh, we'll talk about it that, uh, that a little bit later. later. Solo, uh, again later. Pan and volu in input volume. So, when input volume is in the middle, nothing is heard as we start turning it left or right delay the delay is heard more also pan if it's left the effect is only heard on the left uh, side if it's on the right, it's only heard on, on, the right, on the right side. Okay. Here we have filter. Now this is a very nice and interesting thing. We're gonna review this um, a bit more widely. Okay, let's start with this. Let's analyze it first. Here we have input filter type. This is the type of the filter. LP, that's lower pass. Um, BP bandpass, notch notch filter, high pass filter, low shelf filter, peaky filter, high shelf filter, and that's all. And these are the this is the filter modes. One, two, three. You basically have to experiment with these some. This is the gain, cut, and resonance. Okay, let's see the different stuff in work. Uh, let's see what they do. How it um, how the effect change? Okay, let's play. Let's set it to low pass. As you see, as you hear, actually, the delay is sort of muffled. If we turn the gain to the right, nothing happens. I don't know why. Anyway, if we we cut it. You, uh, as you hear, 
the effect becomes more and more muffled. If we move the knob to the right, the effect resumes its normal effect. Okay, let's up the resonance a bit. A bit. Let's say here. Let's see what happens. As you see, the re it resonates depending on where the cut is. Check, let's check the bandpass. As you see, it's sort of uh, sort of nothing. The gain does nothing again. Mode two, mode three. If we higher, let's higher the resonance. The resonance actually removes this filter because it conflicts in some way with the way the effect is now. But yeah, notch filter high pass filter So this is the invert this is the inverted low pass filter actually. It cuts from the higher spectrum that is 20 uh, 20 kHz to 20 Hz to the left of the cut as you hear. So when we hear the resonance is somewhere in the bass section as you can probably hear. Sorry if you have the volume way up. Okay, so so that's enough with this. You can experiment with the other. This is poster pre pre. Uh, this is poster pre effect. So when post is turned on, the effect is um, uh, basically basically the effect is activated after the sample is played. When it's in pre mode, the effect is calculated before the um, the sample plays. Okay, let's uh, look at the feedback um, feedback tab. This is a bit more interesting. Now, this here hires the first echo. Okay, split it, all it does. But I advise you to leave it here, as you see. When it's this, the second, uh, the second line is uh, consequent to the first line first line being the sample plate and the second and other lines being the feedback. Okay, when it's on normal, the feedback is normal, when it's on off, there is no feedback, the effect is muted, when it's inverted, the, the, um, the left effect is an invert, when it's on, on ping pong, the effect is sort of um, playing on the left and right. Uh, left and right side of the uh, whatever yeah basically you get the idea it's ping pong okay let's look at this now this is the time actually i'll need to do this okay so as you see when i move this it shows the numbers up there this is basically ticks and tick one tick being this is one tick this is one tick and this is one tick so when it's on three three is the default the first um, the delay is activated on three ticks so 
this is actually this every th every three ticks the delay is activated one feedback of the delay is activated as you see here yeah so let's set it to two and let's see what happens so this is actually this can set it all the way to 16 and all the down way to 0 so if you set it to 0 0.04 let's see what happens you see it sort of farts a little bit so let's raise it Okay, let's reverse it back to 3 and this is the offset, offset uh, time stereo offset basically uh, this is the delay from uh, the left uh, headphone or sight or whatever to the right so if we raise it uh, up there we see the milliseconds so, th so if we raise it up the right um, the right pan of the effect will be delayed whatever milliseconds we set it to ok let's set it to 100 and something as you see it's delayed and it's sort of a strange echo effect this is where the pink pong here really comes into effect so you can make really interesting uh, stereo effects with this let's set this to 4 yeah really nice actually this is the stereo separation so this is how much um, how much wide of an angle the stereo has that makes any sense. As you see here, it sort of reverberates from left to right. If you have your, uh, if you are on headphones, you can hear it uh, more clearly. This is the volume. Uh, as you see up there, it's in percent. This is basically the percent, uh, the loudness of the next uh, feedback of the next effect uh, um, yeah you get I hope you get the idea so basically if it if it's on 50% the first feedback which is here will be 50% the loudness will be 50% of the actual sample sound the next one this one will be 50% of this one if that makes any sense and so on so on every next will be 50% um, more quieter than the previous one if it's on 8% like this this will be 8% of this this will be 80% of this this will be 80% of this and so on until it reaches some kind of uh, critical low and then it just cuts the effect uh, the plugin just cuts the effect um, overall.